everyone, my name is Crystal Hardstaff from The Gentle Counselor and today I'm going to be reading to you my newest children's book, Tricky People. Um, I'm just going to read out the blurb first before I get into reading the book. This book is for parents and caregivers to read to their children about consent, body autonomy, what is and is not okay, the warning signs, who are safe people and how to listen to their instincts when something or someone doesn't feel right. Stranger danger is an old and outdated concept and using the language of tricky people helps empower and protect children. Uh, I really wanted to write this book to have everything in the one place for us as parents. Um, if you're like me, um, you've been working really hard to figure out how to teach your children to be safe and um, be aware of situations and the people that are around them. Um, so I have made this into a wonderful resource for all of us to be able to read with our children and it will also equip you as the parent or caregiver with the language of what to use when reading this book. Um, so yes, Tricky People. It's available now if you would like to grab your own copy. I do have the link in my bio or you can go to the website thegentlecounselor.com to grab your paper book or ebook to download. Okay, I will go ahead and start reading the pages. Um, at the very beginning it also gives you a little bit of information and statistics uh, which are a bit confronting because the statistics are that over 90% of cases where children are experiencing harm um, is from someone that they know, which is also a big reason of challenging that um, concept of stranger danger because we now know that over 90% of the cases are someone known to the child. Um, so this is why I think it's really important to use the language of tricky people. So here are the first two pages. So you can see what they kind of look like and I'll read them out. In this family, we have a rule and that is there are no secrets. We can have surprises. A secret might sound like a good idea, but sometimes secrets can be hurtful. Surprises are so much more fun, like planning a party or sharing some special news. We do not keep secrets in our family. We can talk about anything. And if anyone ever tells me to keep a secret, I make sure to tell my mum or dad straight away. A secret is always safe to tell someone and a secret should never be kept. This is my body. It is my choice what I get to do with my body, like running and playing, hugging and high-fiving, even the words I choose to say. This is my body. It is my choice what I get to do with my body, like taking care of it, brushing my teeth and cleaning my body, eating yummy food and wearing clothes. This is my body. It is my choice who gets to be near me or touch it. Some people call these private parts or have other silly names, but this is what our parts are really called. Vulva and vagina for girls, penis and testicles for boys, both have a bottom. Everyone has these parts and some might look different too. This is how my body looks and no one gets to look at or touch these parts but me. If anyone ever tries to show me their parts, I can say no and tell someone I trust straight away. Sometimes I don't like people touching my body, like when I have to get a nappy changed or when the doctor has to look at my owie. It's my parents' job to help take care of me and it's my doctor's job to help take care of me. There might be times when an adult I trust or a safe person needs to help me take care of my body. I really like it when they explain to me what they are doing and why. This helps me learn how to take care of my body. I know they are a safe person when they are gentle and kind because they listen to me and take special care. This makes me feel a little better. Sometimes I don't like people touching my body, like when they stand too close or go to kiss me. When this happens, I can speak up. I can feel brave and tell them to stop because I do not like that. If I'm feeling nervous, I can ask my safe person to help me. If I don't want someone close to me, I can move my body away to feel safe. If I don't want someone to kiss me, I can wave or high five instead to feel safe. This helps me learn to take care of my body. I know I am being safe because it is my body and my choice. This makes me feel better. Sometimes other people don't like me touching their body. I can help other people keep their body safe by asking them first. This is called consent. 
Consent means that everyone gets to make a choice about their own body. We can give and take away consent at any time we choose. If I want to give someone a hug or kiss or touch their body, I can ask them first for permission. If they say yes, that is consent. If they say no, I must listen to them and stop because everyone gets to make a choice about their own body. This helps me learn to take care of my body. I know I am being safe because it is my body and my choice. This makes me feel better. A long time ago, people used to teach kids about stranger danger. But what is a stranger? A stranger is anyone that we do not know. This can be people at the shops, new neighbors, a policeman, even other kids at the playground. Lots of people are strangers to us because we do not know them. People want kids to stay safe and we have to learn how to do this. What we do know now is that there are tricky people who make kids feel unsafe. A tricky person can be anyone. A tricky person can be a stranger or even someone we already know. What is a tricky person? A tricky person is someone who wants to trick me. They might actually want to do something that does not feel safe for me or my body. A tricky person might tell a lie. A tricky person might ask me to keep a secret. A tricky person might ask me to do something I don't want to do. A tricky person might try and scare me. A tricky person does not make me feel safe. And there are also safe people. A safe person is someone who listens to me. A safe person respects my body and my choice. A safe person does not ask me to keep secrets. My heart, my brain, and my stomach tell me that I am okay. How do we know who is a tricky person and who is a safe person? Our body is so clever and tells us things all the time, like who we can trust and who makes us feel worried. To listen to our instincts, we must listen to our brain, listen to our heart, and listen to our belly. These are the ways our body tries to tell us something. The more I listen to my body, the more I trust my body, and the more I can tell who is a tricky person and who is a safe person. My brain might think that someone or something is dangerous. My heart might feel worried, sad, or mad. My belly might feel like it is sinking too tight or like butterflies are flying around. If I get a weird or uncomfortable feeling, I know my body is trying to tell me they might be tricky. If I feel comfortable, I know my body is trying to tell me they might be safe. Sometimes this can change, so I must always check with my body by listening to my brain, my heart, and my stomach. If I'm not sure, I can always talk to an adult I trust, like the one who is reading me this book. If something doesn't feel okay with my body, I know I can talk to someone about it. This is all part of growing up and keeping my body safe. This is my body. It is my choice what I get to do with my body. I listen to my brain, I listen to my heart, and I listen to my belly. These are the ways my body tries to tell me something. The more I listen to my body, the more I trust my body. This is my body. It is my choice who gets to be near me or touch it. I am learning to take care of my body. I know I am being safe because it is my body and my choice. This makes me feel better. And that is the end of the book. Thank you so much for watching this as I read out my new uh, pride project. Um, the copy I am holding, in case anyone was wondering, is the author proof copy, which is why there's this um, gray line over it. Your copy will not have that. This was the original, the one to make sure that everything was looking great so it was ready for all of you to purchase, which it is now, so you can grab your own copy worldwide. You can go to my website, thegentlecounselor.com, under the shop section, or click the link in my bio. It's all there ready for you to grab your paper book or ebook version. If you know anyone who would also be interested in this, I would really um, appreciate your support in helping get the word out there. I am self publishing this, so I'm doing it all on my own and using the power of our community and social media. So if you see any of my posts, I would love for you to please share or tag anyone else who you think would be interested in this book. Thank you so much again. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everyone.